Hey, it's Rod B. Thanks for watching. Well, today I'm going to do some fractional wood burning on a Telecaster that I'm building. Here's the body. I've got it cut out, but I haven't routed it to the actual size of the pattern. I left it a little bit bigger, just like I did on the epoxy resin art body that I just did. I left it bigger because when I put the solution on it for the burn, it's going to run down the sides and it's going to burn the sides and um, I don't want that. So I left it bigger so I can route it out and round it over and clean it up real good. But I am also going to go over it with some probably a turquoise or a blue epoxy with a squeegee over the top and fill up all the burn and uh, it should look pretty cool. So let me change the camera angle and we'll get started. Okay, I got my body on the table and I've got my solution on it. And all the solution is is a cup of water and a tablespoon of baking soda. And my transformer is an Allison oil transformer, 10,000 volts. I'm going to put a little bit more of my solution on it. And if you got too much on it, it will not burn. So I'm going to put that on there and I'm going to take some paper towels and just daub it. Just to get some of it off. Because if the moisture is too much, it won't burn. If it's too little, it won't burn. So it's you just got to work at it and get it just right. All right, let me put my gloves on and we'll see if it's going to burn. that'll look pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to sand it. I'm going to take a wire brush and go over it, sand it down real smooth, then I'm going to stain it. And once that stain dries then I'll get my epoxy and I'll go over it. So let me let this dry a little while and sand it and then we'll put the epoxy on. Well I kind of already started before I turned the camera on but I'm going to stain it with some black cherry stain. Let me center it up there. I've sanded it with uh, 220 all the way up to 600. Okay, I need to let this dry for an hour and then I'll mix up the epoxy and we'll uh, put some epoxy on. Okay, everything's dry and what I've done is I went ahead and mixed up my epoxy and um, I'm using my daughter's advice she told me to use this. We wanted turquoise, I don't have any, so this is like a mint green and a squeegee. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pour a little bit here and I'm just gonna squeegee it across. this dry overnight it'll level out but I'm going to sand the top of it down a little more and try to get back down to the wood and then I'll go ahead and route everything out and uh, clean it up and stain it and it'll be good to go to put together so we'll come back tomorrow when it's dry and I'll show you what it looks like well it's done check it out I think that looks really really good if you notice the fractures are now turquoise I happened to find some turquoise pigment that I forgot that I had and once I did that and everything dried, I went over the top of it with a layer of clear epoxy just to smooth everything out and make it nice and level. I went ahead and stained the back and the sides with black cherry stain. And then I coated it with 10 coats of instrument lacquer. Now I still need to wet sand it and polish it, but I'm going to do that later. But there it is right there. I think that looks really, really cool. If you want to see it put together and played, hit that like, subscribe button. Come on back and check it out. Hope you all have a good day. We'll see you.